Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to splice into an existing circuit. Okay, so I have an existing circuit with a, say this is the plug over here, and then we've got a wire running through the wall to another plug over here. Now I want to add a plug onto that circuit. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to find this wire that's hot and then I have to cut it so I can splice it in this other new outlet. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to cut this wire and once I cut the wire, the wire is going to be too short. So let's say I cut this wire and now I have I've had this wire so I cut it into two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is then I'm going to run one of these wires into a box. Like this. And then I'll run the other half of the wire into the second box. Okay. So now that completes my circuit again. So now my wire comes through here, up here, I'm going to connect it down to, to this new piece of wire. So the new piece of wire then gets connected to the old piece of wire that then goes over to this other box. Okay, so I've already stripped some of these wires to kind of speed up the video a little bit. So I'll have to strip these wires. boxes right here are now what we're going to call a junction box because what we're going to do is we're going to cover this up with a blank cover so you'll never see it or you'll never there's no switch on it there's no plug on it just a blank cover and it's used to connect the two wires all right so this first one we're going to cut it and all we're going to do is wire nut the wires together. Okay, so since the ground wires are not being hooked up to anything, you hook them together. Neutral wires are not getting hooked to anything, so they just get hooked together. Then the hot wires get hooked together. Then you're going to stuff everything into the box. Like that. And you're going to cover it with a blank cover. A blank cover is just a cover with no hole for the switch, then you just put it over the top of this. So for the other box, same thing. I'm just going to splice all the wires together. And then I 
put the three hot wires together. So what I did was, once I cut the wire, the wire is not long enough, so I had to add the two junction boxes so I could splice a piece of wire between them to make sure that the wires were long enough. So this box could have been over here, and this one could have been over here, however, whatever length in between the two boxes. Um, so they could be anywhere along the wall. Run a new piece of wire between them, stuff them in the box, cover them with the blank cover, and then you have a new circuit. So you have power coming in, into this box, coming down to this box, it runs down to the new outlet that I've installed below, and then power continues over to this light box where you can continue your circuit, okay? So you can use these single gang boxes like this. You could use uh, this octagon box and you could mount it on the inside of the stud like this and put a blank cover on it when you get done. Romex connector, run the Romex into the Romex connector, do all your work here. If you're up in an attic or someplace where it's, you could use this four inch box, you can, again, you can mount it to the side of the stud, you can mount it up in a rafter like this, you can mount it to the top of a rafter, you can mount it to a ceiling joist, however you want it to go, run your new wire in, or your old wire in, a new wire to another box, and then, of course, make sure you cover them up with a blank cover so you do not have any wires exposed, okay? You cannot have any connections exposed, so if there's a a wire nut on anything it has to be covered up so if I have wires in this box then it has to be covered up okay so this is how you would splice into an existing line to say add a new outlet